watching Sun TV, broadcasting to the world from studios in Providenciales in the beautiful by nature Texas Paper Science. Sun TV, your source for real news as it happens. guilty of attempted murder and the Royal Bank of Canada robbery will know their fate on March 4th when they will be sentenced by Madame Justice June Joyner. Daniel Bean Jr., Darrison Nash, Odessa Williams, and Bernard Colbert were each found guilty by a jury of three women and three men in the Supreme Court on February 20th. They were charged with attempting to murder Dwayne Fulford on Friday, January 13, 2012, in robbing him of $75,000 in cash belonging to CAM, a money transfer company, on the same date. Bean was represented by Oliver Smith, while the lawyer for Nash was Laura Maroof. Williams was represented by Tamar Muhammad and Colbert by Arthur Hamilton. The prosecutor was Leonard Franklin. Friday, March 1st, will be nomination day for candidates in the Cheshire Hall and Richmond Hill by election, which will take place on March 22nd. According to a government press release, the nomination of potential candidates will take place on Friday, March 1st, 2013, at the Gus Lightburn Sporting Facility between the hours of 10 a.m. and 1 p.m., and then 2 p.m. until 4 p.m. Nomination forms should be submitted to the returning officers together with a Treasury deposit receipt of $500. Potential candidates for the by-election must also register their names and party symbol with their returning officers by March 1, 2013. Acton Premier Honorable Akira Mizik has sent a letter of congratulations to Grenada's Dr. Keith Mitchell following his new National Party's victory in the general election held on February 19, 2013. The acting Premier commended Dr. Mitchell, whose party won all 15 seats in the election, on his return as Prime Minister of Grenada. She added, We in the Turks and Caicos Islands have taken note of the sterling contribution which you have made, not only to Grenada, but also to the Caribbean and the CARICOM. In closing, the Deputy Premier noted, We wish you great success as your new government embarks on navigating the challenges and embracing the opportunities which face small developing countries like ours. Dr. Mitchell was Prime Minister of Grenada from 1995 to 2008. This is Sun TV. Real news as it happens. We'll be right back. year, Fortis TCI will be sponsoring the Science Fair, which is expected to be bigger and better this year. This year's sponsorship of events, which will be held on March 6 and 7, was announced during a press conference at Fortis headquarters on Leewood Highway on Wednesday, February 20th. Sun TV caught up with Director of Education Edgar Howell and his sister Tammy Robinson, who is the newly appointed Undersecretary in the Ministry of Education youth sports and culture. Here's what Howell had to say about the science fair and Robinson about her new appointment. Education week begins really on the 1st of March. That's next week, Friday afternoon. We'll have a parade from the marketplace down to the town center mall. That will involve all of our partners in education. The theme this year is Centers of Learning, uh, focusing on, on partners in education, helping to strengthen the, the education of the Turks and Caicos Islands. During the week, you will have the ecumenical service. That's a normal feature of Education Week that will happen on the Sunday, I think it's the 3rd of, of March. And then Science Fair is one of the, the main features of Education Week on the 6th and 7th of March, taking place at the Gustavus Lightfoot Sports Complex. The, there are some other activities for Education Week. I can't remember all of them right now, and I'm sure the team from the department who, who are working on Education Week will be able to tell you about that. For the science fair, we expect that most of the high schools are participating either in the 
exhibition, the graphic and, and creative art pieces, or the quiz competition which takes place on the 7th. In the past, we saw some very creative and talented pieces coming out from, from children attending high schools in the, in the country, and we expect the same or even better for this 2013. I am delighted that Fortis has decided that they're going to continue to not only work with primary and high schools, but they're also making an impact in terms of providing scholarships for their own employees who uh, would have an opportunity to go abroad, to gain skills, and then to come back and work in Turks and Caicos. I hope that that is an example for more students attending high schools, that they can prepare themselves for areas that will serve at, at Fortis or any other area having to do with electronics, having to do with science and engineering, and, and, and have the opportunity to go over and study and come back home to Turks and work and help to build With a bachelor's degree in literature, I started out teaching at the high school. Mm -hmm. Clement Howell High School, of course. Yes. Then spent some years at the primary school level, both in the Cape Banana Enterprise. Um, did some time with the administration of the Whole Gospel Christian Academy. And then moved on to the department with um, responsibility for private schools. And now as Deputy Secretary for the Ministry of Education, Youth, Sports and Culture. I'm expecting to have a good time. I'm expecting to continue um, to contribute to the development of Turks and Caicos. I'm expecting to continue the job that I've had for the 14 years, um, looking after or carrying out the public's work. Uh -huh. I'm Todd Dafferlin. Thanks for watching Sun TV. Join us tomorrow when we bring you more news as it happens directly to your computer or mobile device. Yeah.